As you can see in this video now, we're gonna tackle the oil pump. This was the test to see if it's indeed the um, hex shaft key. And as you can see, it's skipping. Now we're gonna change our gloves and we're gonna take a pick and we will try to take the circlip out. I would always recommend to have a new circlip as well as a backup because sometimes you might lose the circlip look how small it is and now either with the magnet or with the pick just take out the old hex shaft key look at the shape of it the edges have been rounded off and that shows the oil light on your dashboard because the pressure will be low. Next we're gonna put the new upgraded oil hex shaft key. It just goes in the same slot and as you can see we test both balance shafts to see if they spin as they should as you can see in the, this video and the final step will be the new circlip just to be sure that it fits it there because the used one might jump out we always use a new circlip and after we fit the new circlip we check again to see if everything is in place. Next step, after placing the hex key in the oil pump, put the new timing belt kit, as you can see encircled there, that's a zip tie. I tried to be safe somehow. But unfortunately, if you see in the next circle, the timing belt is uh, jumping one tooth. I didn't notice that, unfortunately. The engine was fine in the end. But later in the next video you will see. Now we're gonna tighten up the tension on the timing belt with an allen key. I'm trying to adjust the timing belt properly, I put the tension and now I just put the, I think it was a 13mm bolt for the tensioner, rotate the engine, the engine rotates fine, without me knowing that it's out of time, not by much to damage anything inside. Anyway, now I'm just gonna take you under the car for the next step and that will be the oil pump. We're gonna put the oil pump back to the engine, we're gonna bolt on the oil pump. As you can see, there is a chain there with a gear that will need to be attached to the oil pump. Uh, because it's connected to the crankshaft that's how the oil pump works on the 140 BRE it's driven by the chain and the um, uh, hex key oil uh, shaft bolt all 12 uh, bolts I think they are T40 or T45 something like that and I tried to bolt the bolts in a cross pattern and I've always checked to see if the bolts are tight because obviously I didn't want any loose bolt in the oil pan. Now I'm gonna attach all four um, bolts to the gear chain 
and we try to see if it works. Check again all the boards to be tight. Um, those are two screws there for the guide chain. And after that, I'll check again the gear to be tied up, the bolts for the gear to be tied up properly. We put back uh, the bolts for the guide chain. We check again. And now, unfortunately, <laughs> because it was my first time I did this job, I messed up. I have uh, unbolted too many bolts, um, those ones were not necessary to get the whole assembly uh, of the engine, only the um, 12 T45 I think they are, they need to be um, unbolted. Um, now we are gonna check again the bolts for the guide chain and now we're gonna put the, the bolt for the plastic guide for the chain as you can see it's an uh, allen key uh, bolt um, it has a spring inside that holds the, the guide against the chain all you have to do is just push the bolt with the um, spring inside and then just uh, bolt the bolt the, the just guide uh, checked it to see if it works yeah the, it's all good and clean everything just with the debris uh, all I use is just a uh, brake cleaner and now we put the plastic protection, plastic cover for the chain um, it has two bolts and that holds the cover the next step is to clean the oil sump um, and then put some uh, gasket sealant and after that bolt on all the bolts I think there are 26 in total unfortunately I didn't manage to put all of them back because there are two right in the middle between the engine and the gearbox where I had trouble to take them out and I decided not to put them back because it was a weird weird position but a lot of people said that they are not necessary because even if you don't put them back you won't get any oil leak or anything in there as long as the uh, sealant is properly spread over the oil pan and the rest of the bolts are torqued properly don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching
also the oil um, level sensor it, it holds in uh, three bolts allen key bolts as you can see i have connected the sensor already and uh, it also has a um, metal cover to protect the um, the sensor itself so first you'll have to insert the sensor and then you'll have to put the metal plate and then you'll have to bolt the bolts And after we, uh, we rotate the engine again to see if the timing belt is properly, we put the timing uh, cover and now we put the uh, crankshaft uh, pulley. Um, it has only four bolts, they are actually splines, not allen keys, so be careful with that. And now the top cover, we put the protection inside the pulley for the bolts, it's just a rubber cover. Now I'm trying to put the front of the car, two bolts on each side, just above the headlights. The whole assembly is made out of two radiators, the AC radiator and the engine radiator, which it holds coolant. And that's about it. Thank you very much.